of the office of mayor. According to my best ability. According to my best ability. Madam Mayor. <laughs> It's been one year since Mayor Karen Bass was sworn in. And she joins us this morning with a look at her first year in office, what she hopes to achieve in the year ahead. Uh, Madam Mayor, thank you for joining thank us. You. Thanks for having and me congratulations here. on one year. Oh, appreciate that. Um, you've made uh, solving homelessness a, a top priority, if That's not right. the top priority here in the city of L.A. Last, last year this time you launched Inside Safe. Mm -hmm. Uh, about 2,000 people, if I'm not mistaken, have been relocated uh, through Inside mm -hmm. Safe uh, through November 30th, um, nearly 400 people have already left the program. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, of course, against a backdrop of a, a much larger problem, 46,000 right. people homeless uh, in our city on any given night. No one doubts your attention to this mm -hmm. issue. And the fact that anecdotally, many of us look around and say, See, things might seem better. That's right. But against the backdrop of those numbers, do you still call the program a success? Yes, but understand that Inside Safe is just one part of a much broader strategy. So overall, if you look at how many people were moved off the streets this year, we're talking about 21,000 mm. in a variety of different ways. A um, lot of things to do in the next year, but I think one of the most important things that we accomplished is destroying the myth that people won't leave the streets. Mm. Mm. So for example, we go to you know, uh, house people in an encampment and there'll be 20 people we've counted two days ahead of time. The move out day, 30 people show up. So people are coming, the unhoused folks are literally calling each other. So we've seen encampments disappear where we weren't even mm. there. Mm. And I really think in terms of Angelinos, quality of life, one for the unhoused, but the housed yeah. is to get people off the streets, yeah. to get them away from schools and businesses and residential areas. That benefits everyone. Yeah. And for them to want to be in that position and they do, yeah, and they saying. do, Got absolutely. It. The budget, continuing on this idea, this program, the budget for this program, $250 million, and we're talking in this year's budget, and the LA Times reports that in the past year, just 13% of the people participating in Inside Safe, mm -hmm. they receive permanent housing. Are changes being made to the program in the upcoming year, I imagine so. Yes, and again, it's just one strategy, so a lot of people went into permanent housing, over 3,000 yeah. did. The 200 or so that you're talking about is from that one program. Mm. But we have to move people into permanent housing so much quicker. So one of the other parts of my comprehensive strategy is to fast track the building of affordable housing. So we've cut the red tape. We uh, Developers have told us that what used to take six months now takes 37 days. Mm. So what I think we did this year was laid a very strong foundation to move forward. As you know, we inherited a system that was very, very broken. And, and I didn't want to spend time studying why and where. We just jumped in yeah. because to me it is an emergency and the quality of life for Angelinos, mm -hmm. our measurement around this issue is housing people who are on the streets. No one wants to see people living on the streets in our city. You've had many people say you, you're having success uh, that we haven't seen before, but you do have your critics. Yes. Um, and people like Council Member Tracy Park, who told the LA Times uh, in June, um, that despite throwing bill and I think this is probably not just directed at you, but at people in general, at government in general, mm -hmm. despite throwing billions of dollars at this problem over the last number of years, we have failed to address the growth of encampments on the streets. Exactly. Right? That is a criticism. I mean, you're talking about why I ran. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have that criticism as well. Uh, and what I have discovered this year is a lot of areas where the system is broken. But again, it took us 30 years to get where we are. So the idea in one year that it would be solved makes no sense at all, but I do believe it's an emergency and that's why I jumped in and I'm building the plane while, you know, mm. flying. Sure. And that creates a lot of issues, but I but to me it was so important to demonstrate to Angelinos, the housed and the unhoused, that people would leave the streets willingly. But I can tell you a lot of things we need to strengthen in the second year. And one of the number one issues are the services for the individuals mm. who leave the street need to be strengthened. And I know that it has been a contributing factor to some people leaving the motels. So that's an area that we will work on very well, much. Well, let me ask to. you about that. The social service wraparound is so important when people right. are dealing with addiction, mental health issues. That's right. How will you do it? 
Is sure. the money there to do it? Right. You know what? I actually believe the money is there. I think that we could use the services that exist much better. So, you know, one of the historic problems has been infighting between the city and the county, and that's gone away. We have collaborated very, very well this year. But part of the journey for this year was identifying where all the gaps are. Mm. And uh, when we move people from an encampment to a motel, a community-based organization takes over. We have worked these organizations way beyond their capacity. So we have to strengthen their capacity in year two. Identified a lot of weaknesses, a lot of problems. Very excited about going into year two and have a much better sense yeah. of how to move things forward. And something that happened near the end of your year one was the 10 freeway, major Ex issue. Well, the 10 freeway, Went the, the hurricane, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you name it. But as it relates to the 10 freeway, the yeah. suspect still has it been taken into custody hasn't the been identified. Su the suspect has not been taken into custody we do know it was arson but we also know that that fire was not caused by an encampment mm. the encampments we that were that. there well they were nowhere near mm -hmm. the uh the fire so that it that was also a myth that i thought was very important to discuss but how was it that all of that stuff was allowed to be kept it, under I think people a were freeway by that. well yeah. listen I was shocked, mm. but you know what we learned? This is actually across the country. Mm -hmm. So across the country, the space underneath freeways are leased out. It's leased out by the state, but I'll tell you right after that, then we checked all the freeways in the city, and I found out that <laughs> the city of Los Angeles is one of the tenants. <laughs> uh. So I looked at all of our properties to make sure that we weren't a part of the problem as yeah. well, and we're not. That's our look back. Let's look forward. Yes. Uh, new year. What, what are the priorities, what are the goals this year? Uh, to continue with what we have been doing, to really address the weaknesses that we discovered along the way, yeah. but we have to get more businesses in the, in the city. You know, I was very excited to have the headquarters of the third largest bank in the, in the state mm -hmm. move to Los Angeles and bring a million dollar check with them. And that check is for a small business fund mm -hmm. because we wanna make sure that we can cut through the red tape so that Los Angeles becomes a much better city for businesses to open yeah. up and thrive and thrive we like we'll end it on that note and thrive we like that thank you so <laughs> much right. thank Bass, you for having me appreciate on. your thank time you she'll be at a uh, christmas tree <laughs> 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 that's <today>. right <laughs> taking lots of photos good luck with that get your smile ready <laughs>